What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back in Dokkan Battle. And as you can see, hold up. Wait a second. Hold up. Wait a second. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a second. Hold up. Wait a second. Hold up. Wait a second. What game is this? What game is this? Do you do you remember what game this is? I remember what game this is. This is the game that decided to fuck me so hard last anniversary. I lost all will and energy to play this fucking game. Now, first of all, have I played this game? Yes and no. I've done the emergency missions. I've done all the easy shit. I lowkey did like two ninja rows, maybe. But what drained me the most about last year's anniversary, two things. One, your boy Sasuke and Naruto ass rates dog shit rates and then bandai namco had the balls to fucking put salt in the wound by making it so that you cannot complete the sasuke event or the naruto event with a friend sasuke or a friend naruto that that was like a big fuck you even if you brought a naruto friend that does extra damage to the sasuke and has certain abilities to help you they're like sorry dude friends don't matter you pull them or go fuck yourself pushy but I'm sure for everyone who actually pulled them, they're jerking off, having a good time. But this anniversary, I came correct. I came with the pearls. You know your boy won the lottery, right? I didn't spend that. I didn't spend that like an asshole. We are about to embark on a momentous occasion. Now, first of all, let's get it out of the way. I'm going to do both banners because I got I got pearls like that. Um, So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start with the Kakashi banner because out of the two banners... They look really good, but I think Abido's banner is a little bit more enticing for me personally because I'm a fucking cuck, and I like the fact that he heals for 2,500 fucking HP per four turns, uh, which is pretty good. That's not even his secret technique. His secret technique does something else in terms of key, uh, key chakra, Jesus, um, which seemed pretty cool. I used a friend Abito a couple times uh, while playing at work today. You know me. I'm not trying to work. I'm not trying to do an honest day's work. Actually, that's a life. My manager's is watching this. I actually work really hard and I actually put in more effort sometimes than other people. And I definitely think I uh, deserve a promotion. Uh, I deserve a promotion from asshole to asshole in charge. Uh, okay, your boy Abito. This guy got a limit break, obviously. He's been around for a minute. He's low-key pretty good. I think the only downside to this Abito, much like the, um, the OG Sasuke is the problem that, if I remember correctly, he has Sharingan as a secret technique, which isn't terrible, but his um, his regular is usually pretty good. The Koton Go Kakuno Jutsu. And by the way, let me just say, one of the coolest units in this game, like this just shows how like Bandai doesn't fuck around. One of the coolest units in this game is Curse Mark 1 Sasuke. I, I might be an asshole. Obviously, I don't play this game as heavy as other games. But he came out like you could buy pearls, basically, and you would get that Sasuke. And I'm like, fuck, dude. That Sasuke looks like a fucking badass. Like, I look, you want that Sasuke. And in my mind, I'm thinking, yo, he'll come around. You buy him with Granny Cat coins. Yo, come around on a banner, maybe summon him. Bandai, in all their wisdom, said, whoever bought this Sasuke, you're, you're going to have a good fucking time. Because he ain't never coming out for any of these fucking pussies. And I'm, I'm just sitting here with my fucking, you know, limp dick, hoping that I get a Sasuke with a Curse Mark One. But alas, I got jack shit. Um, but yeah, honestly, this game is not, um, you know, too hard. Oh, whoa, four goals. Wait a second. Hold on. Let me remind you that this game still has the same bullshit that Dokkan had in 2015 and 16, which is fake gold, where you can have an awakened, you know, asshole. And he's like, oh my god, you got a fucking super rare. Uh. And it's like, no, it's not. Ooh, is this that sh Ooh, is this the new... Is this was Intelligence Shikamaru? Intelligence, my bad. I meant to say... I, I play this game. Bravery and Wisdom. Don't, don't talk shit to me, all right? I have a job, okay? Don't fucking judge me. See what I mean? That's an awakened asshole. All right, he's a six star. Oh, okay. So I got another one of the uh, badass Kakashis. That's a Kakashi who has uh, the badass Perfect Susano. I don't know if it's Perfect Susano or just Susano, but... He's actually really good. He's fucking god tier low key. Um, but uh, yeah, I think Bandai did a lot better job with this anniversary just by having guaranteed units. Uh, it's kind of bullshit what they did yet last year where they released their quote unquote LRs of the game and they made it like 1% drop rate or some shit like that. And there was no guarantee. People saving their fucking stones. It's like, at least with Dokkan, do you get a, a guaranteed card? No. 
But at least they give you, you know, three plus one. Here's the tickets. Here's like a million opportunities. And the rates aren't that fucking bad. Meanwhile, fucking in this game, they're like, hey, you know, I know you want the car. Ooh, I know you want the car, but go fuck yourself. Look at that, bro. Look at that. And what's interesting about this game is that they, they, co they I don't want to say copied, but they did mirror what Dokkan does, where the quote-unquote LRs, like, they're not, you know, legendary rare or, you know, seven star or whatever the fuck. Um, but the really good cards have, similar to what Dokkan has with the LR art, where it's like an animation, and it looks different, and it looks really cool. That's the same thing they have in this game. Can I say this Awakened? I don't fucking remember if you can. Uh, yeah, this guy's lucky at God. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of interesting and kind of cool that they kind of switch up the animation. Um, and who is this Minato? STR Minato? Int Wisdom Minato, okay. Okay, I don't remember. Whoa, I just saw a fly that triggered me. Um, I honestly don't remember. The only Minato I remember is the STR one, which is pretty good. And I think the Bravery one that people just quit the fucking game. They're like, I don't want to play this game because of this guy. I just, whoever, listen, go watch fucking Kabuki and go see what the fuck he uses for Ninja World Clash or whatever the fuck they call it. That Minato. People hate that fucking Minato. Dude, what the fuck? He's OP. I, I agree. I play this game heavily. It's, it's bullshit. Fucking take me another game. All right. Shandara! She did it. Sakura did it. She cut her fucking hair. She's got that fucking fist. You know she's a lesbian, so you know she's always fisting Tsunade and shit. So she came hard with her fist. So let's see. Any fake golds in here? Fake? Uh, no. No fakes. All right. Not bad. Ooh. Sishui. Mmm. 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 See, this is the benefit of not pulling all fucking gear. I literally did not pull... <laughs> uh, other than the free summons... By the way, that's a really cool thing that they added to this game. Every day, you have a free single summon. And I actually got a couple golds. Um, and I think during like special occasions, like right now, they have a free multi-summon, I think, every day or every week or some shit like that. Um, but yeah, I have not summoned on any banner. You know, I was, I was tempted... You, I saw the fucking Sasuke's birthday bullshit where they had every Sasuke on the fucking banner. And I was thinking to myself, I said, Bandai, if you fucking have that banner, be better than the fucking anniversary banner, you got problems. Real talk, I'm going to come to your headquarters. I'm going to be fucking, I'm going to be, I'm going to be the, <laughs> I'm going to be the next nigga pulling up with the AR. That's crazy, dude. The past fucking two weeks, if you live in the US, there's been nothing but white people on a fucking rampage killing everyone. Yo. Yo, we got him. We got him. Your boy, Naruto Uzumamaki. That's what I like. I like that. I like this guy a lot. Look at that. That's crazy. If only it was a year ago. If only it was a year ago, I could actually beat that event. Dude, that event was so fucking hard, dude. I couldn't beat it by myself. I ended up beating it only through multiplayer, I think. I don't even remember if I did that. But I was getting raped, dude. That event was fucking nuclear. That's like... Imagine the OG Broly event where... Dude, I'm being serious. Imagine the old OG STR Broly, but there was no Blazing Battle free cards. There was only the cards you could summon. That's what that fucking event was. Real talk. Keep it a buck. 100. 400. 800. 900. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, Alright, one gold. Usually when there's only one gold, it's extra good, right? Something like that. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Let's see. Pop. 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 Oh, shit. I got another Kakashi. Kokoshi Hotoke. That's nice. I actually like that. And I'll be honest with you. I've been learning a lot of a lot of things about this game. One thing I learned is that apparently you should never fucking play this game on your phone. Because apparently the Android servers are pure ass. Oh, hold up. Let me release something. Yo, I just got done clearing my box. I just want to say, like, as if the fucking card art wasn't bad at all enough. When they're sitting in your box, this man is glowing. Saying extra effect. Extra effect. I'm not even going to read the extra effect, because honestly, my heart is weak, and I may just nut just from seeing it. Whoa, hold up, hold up. We're going to get to you, Abito. Hold your dick in. So, so far, not too bad. I haven't even gotten to the guaranteed multi yet. I got two Kakashis. I got a Nardo, and uh, I also got that badass fucking Sishui. This is looking good. This is looking like this is looking like we cleaning up for the year. Let's keep it a buck, all right? We might not have done good last year. We might have gotten a big old fat L, but we back. We better than ever. 
And in, there's nothing much more to say other than we fucking putting in work. All right, we got one gold. Not too bad. And let me just say, today is Wednesday, or at least you're watching this on Wednesday. Um, and I want to say that for the past, what, three weeks, I've been pretty, pretty good, let, let's be honest, when it comes to uploading on a somewhat semi-regular schedule. So let me just go ahead and tell you, and now have the confidence to say this, uh, regularly, regular programming intention is to continue. And other intention is this weekend, Friday specifically, uh, I'm planning on making a video, top 10. Top 10 in Dokkan, right? Hold up. Top 10 in Dokkan, right? And we're going to get some more Pokemon. And on Saturday, your man, yours truly, I have an idea. This idea can be a Super W or this idea can be a Super L. And basically the idea is... I'll make the video and kind of explain a little bit more, but the intention is to create a quote-unquote contest. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to put some real money out there. I'm trying to put some real bands out there. Um, I was actually thinking of making a contest in terms of using no items for Super Battle Royale, specifically Realm of Gods. And uh, everyone can enter. Anyone can do it. But not the Truth DT. That nigga got too many cards. He got too much shit going on. Absolutely not. But uh, I guess look forward to that on Saturday. You know, you got to advertise, right? Because if I don't say it now, I can't be li held liable in the future. And this is going to be a busy weekend. So hopefully my intention is to probably... Ooh, silver's all day. Uh, it's funny because I actually wanted to Abitone more. So now I'm going to get fucking jack shit. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a busy weekend. So hopefully I'll get all that shit queued up for the uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday bonanza. Uh, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a busy man. All right, I, I'm really trying to, you know, have some fall on me at work, fall down the steps, something, something happen where I can just stay home and collect the paycheck. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. You know, as a matter of fact, there's been construction going on in my company and dude, I, no, no joke. I'm being serious. Like on top of us, they have like, I guess it's like, I guess, I don't know what the fuck, I guess it's construction vehicles, but it sounds like when a truck backs up and it goes beep, 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 like in my ear like right next to me even though it's on the floor above us like right next to me and dude they've been dropping pallets like they i guess they're doing construction like hard body construction up uh above where i work and dude when they're working you just hear like they just drop that shit it makes a gigantic thud and then you just dude legit your my monitor for my computer will start shaking and i'm like what the fuck is going on like if anything falls through this th listen if anything falls through the ceiling this is what i'm hoping for I'm hoping that I don't get hit, but if I do, I survive and I catch a case. Because the, the worst thing that can happen is some crazy shit happens, you drop dead, and then how are you going to catch a case? How are you supposed to get them dollar signs? You know what I mean? You're trying to, you're trying to, trying to catch a case. Win the race. Uh, which Sasuke is that? Is that the Sasuke I already have? The, um, I'm pretty sure that's the badass Sasuke who has, um, what do you call it? Planetary Devastation. I don't know if they call it that, but that, it looks like that to me. Puru! Um, but, uh, yeah, I think my intention is probably to even do the Ninja Road for this game, which has been out, what, three or four days? Um, I, 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 it's hard. You know, your man's ain't got a lot of time. You know, it's actually pretty funny. No, it's not really pretty funny. It's pretty, like, it's pretty retarded how I think I can do all these different things when time is just not, it's not fucking possible. Like... For example, I've mentioned in the past I have multiple YouTube channels which I regularly, irregularly upload to. Um, and it's like, f how the fuck, like, it's it's just not feasible. Um, fuck, I meant to look at his ninja too. Wait, can I look at him? Can I still look at him? Let me look at him. Let me look at that guy. You gonna let me look at him? Uh, absolutely, positively not. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that Kabuto, uh, he looks a little creepy. He looks a little cool. Not too bad. And by the way, let me just say... Um, the amount of pearls you need to do the nine steps for this is not that much. It's 380. So, that's pretty fucking good numbers compared to the bullshit they pulled last year. Um, and that's even better than what Dokkan has in terms of, like, the red dragon coins or the red Dokkan coins. Because I think in order to get, like, a quote-unquote featured unit, you'd have to spend close to, I th I, dude, I think, like, what, 4,000 fucking dragon stones? No, no chat, really, because, like... A thousand got me off two hundred. Or you know what? Maybe three thousand. Still, that's a lot. That's fucking crazy. If you go by the in-game currency, if you trust them, they'd be like, yeah, in-game currency. That's what fucking a hundred. It's a hundred dollars per. 
how much is it? Wait, no, it's fifty dollars per hundred, right? So two hundred is a hundred dollars. So if you do three thousand divided by two hundred, two hundred goes into a thousand five times. So fifteen. Jesus Christ, dude, I I ain't got money for that. I tell you who does though. My mom. So let's go ahead and release this shit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We cleared up some box space. And I actually took a moment to reflect and realize that in the middle of me clearing my box space the first time, I forgot to address the tragedies that my country, my home country of the United States of America has been going through. I mean, no bullshit. I mean, there's been a lot of mass shootings over the past, what, five years especially. But the fact that there's goddamn a bloody, what, two in one day or two in like... 48 hours or some crazy shit like that that that's a, that's some crazy shit it's always it's it's always some creepy white dude it's always some incel some fucking guy who should not have a gun but ends up getting a gun and he just fucking wets everyone up but uh it's actually one of the more i, I don't know it's it, it's one of those well this guy looks badass it's one of those really hard to kind of talk about subjects because on the one hand in 2010, the... Ooh, nice. The Satachi. Oh, the Satachi is making me feel better about the state of this nation. Um, in 2010, uh, the Supreme Court basically made the Second Amendment an inalienable right passed down to state. So every, every like, amendment, uh, you know, first, second, third, fourth, uh, etc., was only on the federal level and not the state level until... Um, what was it, federalism that started to play its course? I don't remember the exact uh, name, but basically uh, in 2010, the Supreme Court basically confirmed that the Second Amendment, like the First Amendment, is a right that states cannot transgress, uh, uh, a right a state cannot transgress upon. Uh, and this is a constitutional issue where people want guns, just fucking ban all the guns, get rid of all the guns, get rid of fake five stars. Um, but then at the same time, it, it's kind of hard to rationalize it from a constitutional perspective but this is the thing right let's be honest this is the problem right sometimes you got to be honest okay this country has always done what it wanted and has made excuses for what they want meaning all men are created equal and inalienable rights da, 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 but we got slaves we got jim crow we got this we got that we got no gold Right. And even, you know, certain things in recent years where if people want it, it'll happen. For example, one thing that is a big no no in the United States is the idea of ex post facto laws that if I wear a hat every day and then come out Friday, they say, by the way, wearing a hat is illegal. And they charge me for wearing a hat yesterday when the law is that today you can't wear a hat. It's you just don't do that. That's something that is, you know, something that you don't do. But. In 2009, I believe, uh, the, not even the Supreme Court, the federal court, no, actually the Supreme Court did set a precedent basically saying that ex post facto is fine, who gives a fuck, um, as long as it's not punitive. Same thing with double jeopardy. So, like, double jeopardy in this country, uh, the idea is that you cannot serve, well, that's a badass pain. You cannot serve time for a crime you've committed that you've already, like, been tried for. So, say, for example, you're tried for murder. You get off with it. You know what I mean? O.J. Simpson. You get off with it, right? You cannot get tried for it again and sent to prison. You could do it in civil court. Like, for example, O.J. Uh, ended up going to court um, civilly uh, and he had to pay some bullshit. But it is not something that can happen punitive. So, the point I'm trying to make is... You know, it's a bunch of bullshit, let's be honest. The whole point is it is exposed fact, it is double jeopardy. And for example, a large reason as to why this occurred... By the way, let me just say, I really wanted the Sasuke. I really wanted that Sasuke. Uh, so I might... We might go one more round. You know me, I'm I only summon on an anniversary anyway. Um, but uh, the point I'm trying to make is, I think 2009, I can't remember exactly, but... There's something called Megan's Laws. Megan Laws is basically laws that were created for pedophiles, molesters, you know, fucking creepy dudes, to basically have to report uh, to an officer, a parole officer, that, hey, I'm moving here, hey, I'm not near kids, da-da-da, you know, my usual Friday afternoon. So that happened, 
And when that happened, they forced everyone from fucking 1958 to come register. They're under the law. It don't matter that's after the fact. It doesn't matter if you already did this shit. And from a legal standpoint, you can fucking, you can dance around it. You can do the fucking tap dance. At the end of the day, it's fucking, it, it, it's, it's a bit of ex post facto. It's a bit of double jeopardy. But here's the thing. Here's the, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. When it comes to law, when it comes to transgression of the law, when it comes to who gives a fuck, just do it. A lot of times, two things will trump the Constitution. Let's be honest, right? Pedophilia and terrorism. Because we don't give a fuck. If you're touching kids, you're going to jail. I don't give a fuck. If you fucking dodge hoops, you're going stupid. I don't give a fuck if it's going to bother you. You're fucking showing up stupid. You know what I mean? Um... And with terrorism, let's be honest, 9-11, everyone's crying now. Oh my God, the NSA, oh, how could this happen? Meanwhile, in 2001, if you were a senator or congressperson that said you did not support the Patriot Act and did not support increased, uh, increased uh, visibility into people's personal lives, you were a fucking, you know, uh, a fucking liberal piece of shit, you fucking supported terrorists, you were a goddamn piece of shit, this, that, and the third, etc., etc. And now people all of a sudden, oh my god, why the fuck does the NSA see me taking a shit? Meanwhile, fucking in 2001, they were out, everyone was out going saying, fuck that, I want these fucking sand niggers uh, where I can see them. And anyone who doesn't want to be seen can go ahead and go fuck themselves. And that's basically what happened in 2001. So, the whole gun debate, right? I personally am conflicted because... I understand that the Constitution has a purpose. There's a purpose to individuals' wants, needs, and what we say is the law. But at the same time, there's so much bullshit in and around, you know, laws, politics, and even history of this country. I mean, you're going to fucking sit there and tell me we can't get rid of guns because of the Second Amendment. Meanwhile, in fucking the 50s, we had no problem sending American citizens to fucking concentration camps and didn't give a fuck about their constitutional rights. No one gave a shit in fucking Korematsu versus United States. They didn't care about gooks. They went into the fucking camps. But now, we can't transgress anything that happens from a constitutional standpoint. But in the back... You know, back in the day, black people, you could be slaves. Asian people, you're not fucking citizens. The Chinese Exclusion Act, a completely unconstitutional fucking act in 1792, I believe, was made into law where if you're Chinese, go fuck yourself. You can't be a citizen. So we can do that. That can be a president. But God forbid if there's something that could possibly stop hundreds of people dying, we're not going to do that. I mean, it's, it's more complicated than that. I mean, it's something that, you know, it's not as simple as, oh, there's no more guns, there's no more violence. No. But at the same time, let's not fucking sit here on our high horses and act like, no, we have never transgressed against the Constitution. We have never done anything that was immoral or unethical. Like, the thing is, if you were to do this, right, I'd be like, this is complete bullshit, right? This is low-key, you know what I mean? Like, you need to repeal the amendment, basically. Um, if you want to completely disbar the Second Amendment. Okay, it's kind of bullshit, but at the same time, it's it seems like a necessary evil at this point in time. I mean, it seems like something that people are fucking going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and they really need to fucking do something, because nothing's been done. This is something that, the two worst things is one, gun control. Obviously, you know, there's different contexts. States like fucking Texas, well, that's where the shooting just happened, but usually their gun control is fairly liberal, and they don't have as much gun deaths or violence. Um, but, you know, in general, there are, you know, for example, mass murders in areas where you're not supposed to have a gun, but it ends up getting there anyway. So it may not be as simple as, oh, get rid of the guns, but I feel like when it comes to politics and the current affairs of today, th there's just not enough being done in terms of communication, in terms of addressing things. I mean, I mean, I, I think the, you know, another problem, obviously, I mean, people have said this, this I'm, I'm echoing at this point things that people have already said, but, you know, the whole idea of the media is supposed to be the third estate, or actually the fourth estate, where it's supposed to be a watchdog for the other states, uh, and they just, it's just turned into fucking QVC for news, you know what I mean? It's like, oh my god, today we have a fucking 10 kill streak by fucking, 
you know, Marty McFly over here. And guess what, guys? He broke the record. They actually said, it broke the record. It's one of the worst ever fucking homicides, blah, 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 blah. And then, and then kids, I mean, most of them are like young adults, you know, fucking 20-something years old. They see that shit and they go, oh, man, I'm fucking bullied at school. My parents don't give a fuck about me. You know what I mean? I, I could do this. I could be on the news. They're going to talk about me. I'm going to get a new kill streak. I'm going to get a new streak. That's like that fucking sicko in, um, what was it, Australia? He shot up a mosque and killed like 50 some odd people. He live streamed that shit and he loved it because everyone online, a bunch of fucking sickos online are like, oh my God, I'm loving this. This guy went on a fucking kill streak, a fucking kebab remover. And, you know, there's sick fucks in the world. What are you going to do? But it's just, it, it's one of those things. It's a difficult it's a difficult subject. It's it's something that isn't easy, uh, but at the same time, it's really frustrating because I, I sometimes you can't even think about this shit because a lot of people, you know, people online especially be like you you got to be woke, you got to be up and alert. But at the same time, like w me thinking about this shit, what is it gonna do really? You know what I mean? Like I think about certain things, it makes me fucking sick to my stomach, and there's nothing to do. Even things that, you know, not even happen now. I mean, some of the most fucking disgusting things that have happened have happened in the past. I mean, two things I remember reading about when I read it the first time was fucking disgusting. One is the murder of Emmett Till. You read about that, you get fucking disgusted just from his murder. And then you get double dis disgusted because of the fact that you realize his killers literally got away with murder because of the double jeopardy rule. Because eventually they came out and said, yeah, we killed that motherfucker, blah, 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 blah. And even later on, the wife who accused that little kid of whistling came out on her deathbed and said, oh, he never whistled. So a fucking 13-year-old kid was murdered mutilated and then fucking sent into a river for no reason and the justice system failed because it did nothing you know it's one of those things that are disgusting and then another thing that always makes me disgusted is whenever i re uh, read about uh korematsu versus or no not korematsu ozawa versus united states was one of those um supreme court cases where you know so the supreme court if you had to look at the branches of government where you have the supreme court congress and then the executive branch, or legislative, and then executive branch. I'd say the Supreme Court, the judiciary, is probably my favorite in terms of, like, being fair, quote-unquote. But there's been so many times where the judiciary has royally fucked up, has done, like, terrible shit. You know, there's so many. Fucking Plessy versus Ferguson. A million different things. The Dred Scott case. You know, things that really just tarnish its reputation. Uh, and then one of those is Ozawa versus United States, where it's just, like... It's cra like racism and bigotry is terrible, but when you hear it and see it from a judicial standpoint or a de jure discrimination where it's legislated is sickening because it's well calculated, it's completely planned, it's completely um, defined, and, and it's one of those things like you read it, and I remember reading it and basically. He, he basically comes out, he's like, listen, I'm Japanese, I've been an American citizen all my life, da-da-da, this, that, and the third, I'm gonna do one last multi, da-da-da, this, that, the third, da-da-da, and he's like, and then one passage, I don't know how the fuck a judge could hear this, and then look at him and go, go fuck yourself, you're not an American citizen, is that he said, um, he's like, by name, I am not an American, but by heart, uh, no, no, he, he goes, uh, he goes, Benedict Arnold, by name, was an American, but by heart, was not. And he goes, I, too, by heart, am an American, but by name, I am not. And he's like, you know, I just want to be an American citizen. I'm a good guy. Don't make me lose my business. Don't make me lose my family. Da, da, da. And then the court summarily saw that, and they go, you know what, Ozawa? That, that sounds really heartfelt. That sounds great. But get the fuck out of my courtroom. I don't give a shit. And they're like, go fuck yourself asshole and they're like you know what i know an american citizen when i see one and he ain't one go fuck yourself so what, what's the point i'm trying to make it's terrible mass shootings the jury discrimination is terrible too uh i think the most important thing is to get out out of this is to completely ignore any issues and just play dokkan and play naruto blazing because in my little world in my little bubble there is no mass shooting it's just it's just characters on a screen dancing and fighting, so I have nothing to worry about. Um, but yeah, it's 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 fucking sickening. Like I can't look at I can't look at the news longer than you know twenty minutes because at the end of the day, I'm not a fucking freedom fighter. I'm not a fucking you know civil disobedience. God bless Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, and everyone else who fucking took their time and effort to make the world a better place. But that ain't me, bro. I got bills to pay. 
I got places to go, and I'm a piece of shit. So, what else is there to say other than pray that it doesn't get worse? It's supposed to be getting better because I don't think it's going to get better, but it may possibly not get worse. But that's pretty much it. Uh, that is it for the most part. As you can see, it's funny. It's funny. I really wanted to. <laughs> I really wanted that Sasuke. I did 18 steps and I didn't get him. Fuck you, band. I dare you. But yeah, I can't complain. This this was a pretty good anniversary. I got some pretty cool units, um, and I think Bandai did a good job on this banner as opposed to the banner from last year. Luck strong, headstrong. I'll take you on. Come on, come on. Any.